Podcast. Hyped. I am so hyped, Chad. How are we doing? How are we doing? Thank you for the false thank you for the subscription. Spicer Spider Earth. Look, I'm excited. I'm going to be screwing up on my words. To be honest, guys, I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous to check out this song because the summoning and chokehold are two 10 out of 10 tracks, which I barely do on this channel. So I am very, very excited for this. I got some wine because you know it feels like a special night, but at the same time. I kind of need to calm down my nerves because <laughs> look, let's face it. Is Granite going to be another heavy track? I don't think so, but I do want some hype. So chat, come on, hype me up. Let's get some participation going in the chat. I want you guys to react. If this is your first time hearing this song with me, participate in the reaction, okay? You guys are part of the video. All right, Th that's what I love. I love seeing that. That is fucking awesome. You guys are hyping me up and I absolutely love it. Okay, look, let's not waste any more time. So sleep token, granite. Missing something sexy. Metal is sexy again. Hell yeah! Nearly a hundred viewers. Damn straight. Thank you guys. Thank you for participating. Come on. Come on. Ooh, the tension. The suspense. Sexy again. Let's talk about the song. 
Going into this, my expectations are through the roof. I don't expect another crazy progressive metal song like The Summoning, okay? So I thought we were going to get a slow song here, but I didn't expect like another heavy kind of breakdown, but it wasn't overly heavy. Instead, the song was sexy. I loved it. I loved it for that. Let's move on through the pros and cons. Number one pro is that this is pop. And why is that a good thing? I think that's a really good thing to bring more people into the metal genre, okay? So a lot of people are not familiar with this style of music, but bands like this and songs like this are gateway songs. Chokehold was great for that. So great. Same with the summoning, with the funk, right? But this song was sexy and because of it, it's bringing a big female demographic. I love it, especially when the metal scene is so male prominent. We need more girls in this scene and I can see this song bringing in more girls and I, that's why it's got a nice seductive kind of flair but don't get me wrong the guys are loving it you you saw me moving and grooving doing my best right doing my best i i kind of dance pretty stiff but I, i'm trying i'm trying christina i'm trying thank you for following and another pro that i have to this is that i'm glad that there was still metal elements you know if the song didn't have that it still would have been fine but i think with sleep token so far with these songs like i'm glad that they're not sacrificing the metal you know obviously everyone in terms of reactors and people are just losing their shit knowing that sleep token is heavy and doing these filthy kind of drops i think it's still cool because like this is a pop song but with some metal elements and i think that's so effective so having that breakdown was awesome another pro is just like the cadence to the song the passenger seat kind of lyric what I, I like about Vessel is that his lyrics seem a little bit outside the box, but also relatable. You know, in this scene, which is like prog metal or metalcore really, this isn't metalcore music, but you know, a lot of metalcore people listen to it. The lyrics can be a little bit cliche, but Sleep Token, you know, it's a lot of like relationship kind of lyrics, which is totally fine, but I love his choice of words, his choice of imagery kind of words. And I feel like with this song, the, even like the whole passenger seat kind of vibe, you know, I have to do a deep dive into it, but I feel like the lyrics here were captivating. That's the best way to put it. They were just captivating. Um, but yeah, I think this is just a solid pop song. Let's move on to the cons. Honestly, I think this song at the moment is probably my least favorite out of the singles, but I think in the context of the record, it's still going to be a nice balanced song to break up the flow because the summoning just came beforehand, right? This is track three. This is still a good song. So at the moment, I don't have cons. This is a nice pop song at the moment with a cool metal breakdown and also good drumming. Drumming was sick too. It was a little bit lighter on the fills, but they were still really beautifully done. Um, if I had to give this song a rating, 8.5. I'm feeling 8.5. This is just a solid pop song that is going to get replay value out of me, and I enjoyed it for what it was. But guys, that's my thoughts on Sleep Token. Granted, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, so comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what you think of this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gotten to this point of the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like to the video. Also, comment down below. Bodacious, because that's the wine that I'm drinking. I love it. Yeah, comment down bodacious, and if you do, that means you watch the entire video, and I'll know, so I'll heart your comment. But on that thing, we tune in. Till next time, peace.